What's good, YouTube? We are back again with another video. And pardon me, as you guys may hear it in my voice already, I'm actually a little bit under the weather. I'm gonna try to limit the distraction as far as me being sick. But behind us, we have four authentic City Edition jersey for the 2022-23 season. These are all fire. I literally ordered them at 10 a.m. yesterday, and they came at my doorstep at about nine o'clock which is the craziest shipping I've ever seen. It was actually free and an option if you were checking out in Fanatics. So shout out to Fanatics for sending these out really quickly. So of course I'm going to do a review on all four of them, but this video, I'm gonna do a review on the Celtics one. And honestly, I'll be 100% real with you. I actually don't even know the themes up until right before this video. So if you see me looking at my other phone, it's really just for reference because I honestly don't know all the ins and outs and intricate details about these jerseys, but I do know they're all fire. And we're gonna get started with the Celtics one first, all right? This is probably my favorite one, man. This is such a clean jersey. Of course, if you guys don't know, this jersey is inspired by the late, great Bill Russell. I'm sure this was already in the making before his passing, but the fact he passed right before the NBA season, I think these jerseys are a lot more sentimental, more than ever now, because they represent Bill Russell. I like the fact that they use Bill Russell because we've seen the Lakers use their Hall of Fame players and their legendary players in the past to influence jerseys. And I think the Celtics could do the same, man. Like, you have Larry Bird, Bill Russell. I mean, you have so many greats have played for the Celtics. That I think is definitely an option for the Celtics for sure. Because they have just an incredible history of all these great players, right? <laughs> man, I mean, where to start on how dope this jersey is? This is the first jersey I put in cart. In my mind, this one and the Warriors Steph Curry were the first two that I wanted to get. I actually had a strategy believe it or not. So I added this to cart right away. This was the first one I added to cart. I had a feeling these were going to go. Tatum's success has gone through the roof, especially him going to the finals. Plus the fact that Boston has a huge fan base. I mean, we've seen how Patriots jerseys move and just seeing how dedicated they are to their team. So I had a feeling that this was going to be already a hot item. And then you add the Bill Russell and you add that this is one of the better looking City Edition jerseys, period. Like, this is such a clean jersey. I love the fact they went away from that Kelly green. That green that honestly is not my favorite color green. I know it's been a part of the Celtics history for so long. But this forest green is a beauty. And me as a Jet fan, it reminds me, of course, the Curtis Martin days the Bill Parcells days. This is just a fire green. And then to add to that, they added a black and gold trimming a little bit everywhere. And we're gonna take a closer look as well. We definitely have to show you this up close, man, because they killed it. They killed this jersey 100%, right? You know what? Let's get right to it. We have the City Edition Celtics jersey. We have the neck information. dry fit material this is a dry fit advanced what we've been seeing for the last year or so for the most part and then we have the retail tags 200 bucks you get that recycled cardboard back to 200 man that's awesome love to see nike keeping it at that price now as far as the trimmings concerned you have a black and gold trim but the gold has a little bit of a metallic -ness to it and when I say that, when the light hits it, it's a little bit of a shimmer. So it's a really nice touch. It looks really good, man. We have the 17th championship patch. Beautifully done. And then we turn it back around. And then you have the gold Nike swoosh. I just want you to see as much detail as possible. You see that beautiful zigzag stitching. Really nice. And then on the sides, we have five diamonds on one side. And 
Let me see if I could give you a better angle. And you see somewhat of a design as well. Now, again, it's five on this side, five on this side. I'm assuming the shorts may have six, which equals his 11 championships. I try to look up any information, but again, it was so short notice, but this is really dope. Now, on the diamond, these little gold parts are rubberized. Such a nice, nice touch, man. I'll tell you what, the City Editions this year really went all out on these little side trims. There's a lot of side trims that are super dope in this year's new City Editions. We have gold trim, again, in that metallic almost look. So a little bit of dazzle to the stitching. Very dope. And I believe that design that you see on the background is the hardwood parquet floor at the Boston Garden. Right now, just thinking about it, they're all squares. Fire, man. This is, this is so nice, dude. This is so nice. Now, on this side, we have the same thing. Some jerseys have an asymmetrical look. I think that's really nice as well. But this one actually has the same exact thing on both sides. We take a look at the Tatum. We have a rubberized Jerry West logo. And then you have a Tatum here. Nicely done. And then you have the gold stitching on the zero with a kiss cut and a perforated white twill. And then we get to the Celtics on this side in a beautiful cursive. I mean, how beautiful is that? And you get to see how it looks coming across, all wrapped in gold lettering with white twill. Very clean. Very clean. We take a look at the jock tag. Champions of gold, and I love how the gold is actually in gold. Size 56. You see the jock tag, authentic, and then you have the city edition on the bottom. I'm going to put this jersey inside out so you can see what the stitching looks like. Here we have what the Celtics looks like in the front. We see the zero Nike emblem. And then you see the back. Very nicely done. Now, of course, as an authentic, you do have perforations. So the back side is fully perforated. And then the front, you have perforations on the upper portion of the chest and a little bit on the sides of the jersey. Let me put this back on the hanger so you guys can see. So, as I was saying, on the front, you have perforations on the upper part of the chest and then perforations on the side panels by the trim and then a solid piece in the middle. Super dope, man. Super dope, dude. This is awesome. So, of course, let me put this jersey on so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm going to put it right over the shirt. For some reason, I always like a size 56 in my basketball jerseys. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, this is... Sheesh. This is clean, dude. No way. This looks so good. I mean, just take a look, man. It's it's a fire jersey. <laughs> Wait, hold on, man. Hold on. 
Y'all got me twisted out here. Hold on. Ah, boy. First off, it's only right that I show a Jason Tatum PE, right? So, this is the Jordan 37 Jason Tatum PE. And it almost has this tan colorway, which pretty much kind of goes with the trim a little bit. So, not too far off. In fact, Jason Tatum wore this combination the first game for the Boston Celtics. So, this is dope to me. But, this jersey looks good. This jersey looks good. Hold on, let me stand it up for you guys. Again, I'm a size 56. As you can see, why I go 2X or size 56 in NBA jerseys is because they're fitted throughout. There's not a lot of boxiness to it. This is why I like a size 56 in NBA jerseys. Right? Part of my Jordan 13s that are making all these noise. <laughs> I went out today. These things are like wild noisy. So like I was saying, this is a fire jersey. This jersey's wicked. Speaking of Jason Tatum, right? If you guys haven't seen my video, the brand itself, Jordan Brand, sent me these Jason Tatum PEs. This may be my thumbnail. So this is a promo sample, Jason Tatum size. You feel the excitement in my voice. Like I'm starting to feel better already because this is why we do it, man. For the love of sports and athletes. This is Jason Tatum's size 15, Jordan 36, Ruffles edition. He actually wore this in a buzzer beater against the Brooklyn Nets in the playoffs last year. But Jason Tatum's popularity has grown. And I say that to say, this was actually the first jersey that sold out. So last year, it was impossible to get the city editions for Curry and Morant. This year, it was actually Jason Tatum that was pretty tough to get. And if you didn't jump on it right away, you definitely missed out. So, yeah, man. This is what it looks like, dude. This is a sweet jersey. I'm kind of feeling the black t-shirt underneath. I'll be honest. It's actually kind of dope with the black tee underneath. I may have to rock it like this one day. I personally would just rock this with a Jason Tatum PE. But if you guys aren't familiar with St. Vincent St. Mary, Fighting Irish... Of course, Fighting Irish Boston. They're like cousins. So, hold on a second. Let me just show you a colorway that I wouldn't necessarily wear, but would 100% go with this, right? So, you have the gold throughout the shoe. Of course, that matches perfectly. And then you have this forest green, right? So, as you guys can see, man, this is just a perfect match. And that's that, man. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. This is my first city edition review for this year. So it's very exciting to be able to give you guys this review. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are coming next, all right? So stay tuned, put the notification bell on, do what you gotta do. We're gonna do a review on these as well. We out, peace.